What's up, everybody? It's your boy Phil Shock and the Nice Stitch Hedgehog here, and we are here for our week four battle going against our good buddy Chew, aka the Whoop, the man who loves Whooper more than anyone else alive. So, this is a big matchup because um, if I win, it gives me a good shot to clinch playoffs for the next week. If I lose, I'm almost in a win and out situation. So, yeah, I am actually recording this also two days before the release of Shining Pearl and Brilliant Diamond, which pretty ironic that Al goes here, hopefully, Dialog is going to give us good luck. But you guys are excited. If you like, you haven't already subscribed if you're new. And uh, with that being said, let's challenge you. I am nervous as all monkeys and stuff. God. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> okay, so. No ice horse. Okay, so no ice horse is nice. Kieran Black was something I could have saw him bring. He doesn't bring web. Very interesting. He does choose and no swamper. Wow. That's actually huge for us right there. Um he does choose to bring the Persian. And then no Galvantra brings Simiseer. Okay, so I do need to be careful. So my shell smash Torterra actually kind of just wins. My Vanette actually looks really good here. Okay, so my Shookaberry is Versus my. Where's that? Keldeo. I don't kill or spear if he's life orb, which is not going to be life orb in this matchup. So I can do two plays here. Uh, what sucks here is that flip turn does not break any sub, so if he's a sub variant, this could be bad. A part of me does want to attack. Smart and just look we do get that. Nice. And we don't see Rocky Helmet. I want to do then. I'm going to mute. Flame Pearl will do 38 to 42. And then at plus two, should kill. And knockoff shouldn't be hurting me that much. Either. So I'm going to click Flame Pearl here. Ooh, Dark Pulse. How did that kill? What's that do? Oh! Okay! 
Okay, that's bad. That's really bad. <laughs> that really is really bad. That Muse set basically won the game too. Do I outspeed Persian? With my neck out of hell. I don't out speed Persian if he's. Oh, that's Tentacle. What the heck? I'm looking at Tentacle. No, I don't. That's bad. So if he's. I'm not gonna try to take a long time on this turn here. So basically, he has. I wish I had knew that. Oh, I'm not. I mean, I can't. I can't really be mad. So 12%. That did 16. So he's definitely a uh, spadef. So even at plus two. You're gonna have to bank on Torterra to potentially win this here now. A combination between Torterra and Galio. That sucks. actually save it. The ice beans me. Come on, nasty plot. We'll see what he does. So I think he has no speed, which is good. Thunderbolt, 
but then eventually I put him in range of, yeah, I'm clicking Thunderbolt, and it was 77, he teleport, smart play, that's a good play right there, I, I didn't even know this thing got teleport, so let's see, Tim in, I should live this. I should live this if he's not specs. Any specs. Yeah, I think I lose. Yeah, specs, he's gotta be. There's no other way he would kill me, right? Yep, he's 100% specs. Much more terrible than this. I did not prep for this Persian. And I got no one. If I lose this match, I have no one to be mad at. Come on. Okay, we go. Okay, we're good. I'm gonna go for the superpower here. What's good is that it will catch. Wow, that did no damage. That's gotta be like four. Holy shit, yeah. 44 to 52. We did 45. Head smash! Head smash is a roll. But I'm plus one now. Don't think I'm. This ain't looking good for us. Yeah, we're gonna get six out. I was not expecting full busy because that's so Again, I, I kinda don't have anyone to be mad at by myself there, but I literally have no one to be mad at but myself. For how I'm playing. And if he goes if he secures the 6 0, he secures the like, there's nothing I can do. I'm gonna go for the return, because return hits super strong. Yeah, this is a 6-0, I think. Saldino. Awesome. Okay. We could have a chance to win now. Okay. We have a possibility to actually win this. 
this now. Even if he burns, if he doesn't burn, it was great. So, Tentacruel goes down, and Corviknight went down. In comes this thing, I'm Lou as well. I think he either thinks I'm timid spec. It might be a roll. 30%. Let's go for it. Oh, he's got it. He's dead dead. That's GG. Oh, uh, good game. Uh, at least it wasn't a 6-0. It was looking like a 6-0 at that point, but we really fought back. I really... <laughs> Oh man, I really messed up by not checking out the abilities, man. If I had checked those abilities, I think I would have prepped better for this matchup, I think. I just, I, I don't know what went wrong with me there, man. I really don't. But, hey, if anything, oh wait, we just gave, we gave Mega Bennett two kills. Ew. Ew. Acorn's gonna be happy now. No! <laughs> I'm just giving you shit, Acorn. But, oh, dude, that sucked. He had the right team, though. Like, there's no... Like, I, I can't be mad about this. I did not prep the best. I wish, I really, really wish I looked, I looked, I looked into that map. I really wish I looked into those mods. I think going forward, I need to start checking these mons' abilities. I really need to. Because then I can be prepped better and prepared better. If... If I only had Mew, I think I would have won this. I probably should have went with my gut and went Culver and then went Aura Spear. Because then I could have still played around Corver Knight. Because if I was Culver, guaranteed live that hit. I go for or I can go for I can play around either Psychic or Or Spear there, and I probably would not have had Roost. Well, I maybe would have had Roost. I would have probably had Roost or Flamethrower probably then. And then what I would have done then is I could have clicked Flamethrower potentially with the range that I was at. Uh, I literally have no one to be mad at by myself though. The, literally, I had no one to be mad at myself in this matchup. So. Unfortunately, Chu beats me again, but he wins just because I did not prep great. And I'm not going to get away from him. He played great. He played fantastic. Ugh. I'm just mad at myself. I'm really just actually mad at myself here, guys. I, I'm legitimately just mad at myself for this. So I'm not going to take anything from Chu. He's a great battler, great friend, and he's just really good, man. He had a scary team, and... Now going into a potential rematch if we do make playoffs and I face him again, I at least now know of these abilities and I can go into my next prep next time knowing these full well. So if there's a silver line in here, I at least understood some new abilities that I should have checked and I can be able to get them going from next time. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like if you haven't, re haven't ready. Subscribe. Join the first Star crew today because you'll be filming the king of the crew. And with that being said, I will see you guys next time. And until next time, guys, peace.